Dozens of 3D printed homes have been built across the world. To house a family in the U.S. state of Virginia or members of an impoverished community in rural Mexico, the world's largest 3D printed neighborhood is currently under construction outside of Austin, Texas. The technology could be especially handy in a place like the U.S. state of Maine, where approximately 80,000 new homes will be needed by 2030 to address a shortage, according to a report released last year by three state agencies. People can't find homes, they're very expensive. We also have an aging population, so there's less and less people who are electricians, plumbers, or builders. Abib Dager, the executive director of the University of Maine's Advanced Structures and Composites Center Assay, told CNN via video call. He says he's got a solution. Last month, the ASCC unveiled what it says is the world's largest polymer 3D printer. Dagger hopes the so-called factory of the future 1.0 can help address the state's housing crisis and revolutionize 3D home printing in the process. The approach we've taken is quite different from what you've seen and you've been reading about for years, he says. Uh, home every 48 hours? In, in recent years, 3D printing has been used to build everything from businesses to bridges to Moscas. One nonprofit is even working on printing schools in a war zone. Dubai in the United Arab Emirates holds the Guinness World Record for the world's biggest 3D printed structure and aims to have 25 of new buildings constructed with 3D printing technology by 2030. A great majority of current printing relies on concrete with a robotic arm equipped with a nozzle layering wet concrete into the right shape. SEC is flipping the script. Its giant printer and its predecessor, which in 2019 was certified by Guinness World Records as the largest prototype polymer 3D printer, are the only printers building homes with wood residuals, says Dager. The technology has already been tested. In late 2022, the university unveiled the BioHome 3 to a 600 square foot single family unit, which it says is the world's first 100 bio-based 3D aid printed home built from local wood fiber and bioresin materials. When they're doing concrete, they're only printing the walls, says Dagger. He adds that the floor, roof and walls of the BioHome E3 were all printed. Concrete homes also need to be built on site, he says. That can be problematic, especially during the snowy New England winter. When the weather goes bad for two weeks at a time, you can't print, he adds. By contrast, SCCC printed prefabricated modules at the university and bolted them together on site to create BioHome 3D. Nobody's ever done this before with these kinds of materials. The new printer can produce objects as large as 96 feet long by 32 feet wide by 18 feet high and can print up to 500 pounds per hour. Dagger says that the goal is to be able to print 1,000 pounds of material in an hour. At that rate, it could reproduce the BioHome 3 d in 48 hours, he says. If they can reach that target, their 3D printed homes will be very competitive with current housing construction costs, he adds. But... It can be difficult to process wood materials at such a high speed. Even SCC's record-breaking printers sometimes jam. While printing BioHome E3, for example, the printer stopped working due to a dust buildup. Nobody's ever done this before with these kinds of materials, says Dagger. When can I have one? The BioHome 3D's warm wooden floors and walls give it the look of a sleek, modern Scandinavian-inspired log cabin. Many people feel concrete is a cold thing to look at, and it's not necessarily where you want to live, says Dagger. The BioHome 3, however, is very warm and inviting. It's also sustainable when a home is no longer needed or wanted, it can be ground up and used to print something else. ACC is using wood residuals from Maine sawmills in its research and looking into scaling up production using these local byproducts. Thousands of people have toured the prototype on the university's Orno. Main campus and Dager says it's a rare occurrence when a visitor doesn't ask. When can I have one? We hear, you know, I'm retiring and I want to downsize. Can I put one of these up? Dacker says, there are some obstacles to overcome first. It takes years for codes to change, says Dager, referring to building codes that construction companies must meet. The printer won't displace traditional home construction, but in the future, 3D printed homes are likely to comprise a larger share of the world's housing stock, he predicts. 
The SEC is now doing work on how to incorporate conduits for wiring and plumbing exactly where an architect would want them into the printing process. He adds, the printer's next big project is a nine home neighborhood for people experiencing homelessness. ACC is partnering with a local NGO to design the structures and printing is set to kick off in 2025.